What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am Brian and today I went to the Triple Ot Design warehouse sale in San Francisco. I did some damage, I had an awesome time, met some new friends, but honestly it wasn't what I was expecting when I first headed out there. So when I first headed out there, you know, I know Triple Ot for their bags and they make clothes, but I don't have any of their clothes. So, you know, I was expecting or hoping to find some cool bags at some amazing prices. I did find one. This was the absolute steal of the day. This was a Fast Pack Scout SE Mutant X50 Multicam Black Olive. It was originally $240, and if you can see that right there, this was a $50 pack. Now, I am part of a Carryology Secret Santa gift exchange, and in this space, you know, at $50, you're kind of looking at, you know, pouches, small organizers, clips, patches, things like that. You're not getting an entire pack, and so, I kind of had a question about this to the group. I don't know that the guy that I drew is going to be into technical stuff, but the value for this pack just jumped off the charts. And so I threw the question into the group and everyone said, go for it. So I did. I didn't give this pack too much inspection or thought up close in the moment because I just figured at 50 bucks, I'll sort it out later. It's a relatively small pack. When I look at something like this, I think maybe a day hike or something. But the more that I look at this up close, the more I'm honestly very impressed by the finishing touches. So up front, we actually have a weatherproof, it looks like, zipper. We have a couple of straps across the front in case you need to fasten anything, a sweater or something. This, this right here is a little bit weird. It's got Velcro and it kind of goes up. I honestly don't know what that's for. If anybody knows what this is for, let me know. It's kind of a weird place for a pocket and it kind of Velcros down. Strange. Maybe it's for a beaver tail that comes out that isn't there. On the inside, we have some very nice organization. This is going to be hard for me to actually show you, but it, uh, I think it's like an olive green. It's got pen holders and whatnot. Very kind of narrow or not a lot of depth. Height? I don't know. I'm not sure I got the dimensions right, but quite deep in terms of a pocket. A lot of nice organization in the front. In case you wanted to hang some keys off, we got a little clip. And then the main compartment, actually, you have great access with how it fully unzips. We got a huge mesh pocket right here. And then here's the one reason that I was told that this pack is so cheap. And honestly, if it wasn't explained to me, I don't even know that I would have noticed it on my own. On the edges, and it doesn't even seem like it's that bad all around. Really, this side right here is a good example. You can, you can kind of hear it, you can kind of see it. The material is starting to delaminate on the backing, kind of the weatherproof backing from the rest of the material. But they said this is just a cosmetic issue. It's not a functional problem. And I mean, really this pack is so small. You're only talking about maybe one to two inches where that becomes a problem. It's not like you're gonna have a giant plastic piece kind of flopping around in the bag on you. And you can see in this other area here, it doesn't have that problem, so that's actually nice that it's not on that. Out back, up top, we got a couple of clips. I don't know what this is. It's, it's not a strap, it's just kind of a tail. It's interesting. And then another mesh pocket. 
overall, I mean, value for, for the money just can't be beat. Really nice, durable looking and feeling grab handle. And then the straps and the padding in the back feel very premium. The one issue that I noticed, and man, these straps are overbuilt in terms of just webbing that you can use to hang stuff off of. That's really nice. But the one thing that seemed kind of weird when I looked at it and when I tried it on is the strap has kind of a void right there, a bend where the padding just kind of goes away and feels like that might wear a little funny, but I think I'd have to actually try this on and get this pack adjusted to exactly kind of the right fit for myself to figure out if I think that's gonna be an issue. So, you know, trying it on, I'm not sure exactly where this bend is gonna sit. If I have this fitted right, it actually doesn't bother me unless it ends up kind of right on my shoulder blade. And I think I basically can adjust the straps to make that not happen. Regardless, at 50 bucks, I hope that whoever gets this, I know who it is, they don't know who it is yet, the guy who gets this as part of the gift exchange is going to really enjoy receiving it. I am so happy that I got a steal of a deal to pass along to someone else this Christmas. Now, the fun stuff for me. You can see I am in the closet. I've got the coat rack behind me and that is because my first love before shoes, before packs, is jackets. And I did not expect going to Triple Lot Design today that I was going to get to see jackets, but my goodness, did I have an amazing time. So, I went in, I got there about 9.20, 20 minutes after opening, the place was packed. There was no line out front, so I thought it was gonna be easy sailing. It was pretty full, it was busy, a lot of people had stuff. I heard people complaining that a lot of the stuff had already been scooped up. But at the very back of the room, there was a rack with two levels and they said it was the prototype rack. And they said everything in the prototype rack is a size medium 40. That is my size. So everyone was like, oh my gosh, you're model sized, you know how lucky you are. And my goodness, I am lucky. So I picked up so many things. I had to pass on so many things, but I got what I think are some amazing steals, some amazing pieces, and these are all prototypes, so they're basically kind of one-off items, which I just extra love the idea of. So, I'm not normally a vest guy, but I saw this vest, and the material and the colorway were just so gorgeous to me that I could not pass it up. And a couple things about it that I really like. So, you know, you have the main material here, but they accent it with another kind of fabric that's a completely different texture and a slightly different shade of gray. And it just really accentuates this vest nicely. And beyond that, we've got a series of buttons that have a very unique design. It's kind of not sewn, it's weaved all the way through. And the weave comes right down almost like a zipper. It's just a very unique, clean looking touch that provides a really nice hit of black against the gray. It really accentuates it well. And the details, it just says vest, prototype, Originally $170 down to $85. So I tried this guy on and it felt, you know, a little slim, kind of in the dad bod area. But overall, for just a very usable, wearable, beautiful colorway of a vest, this, I think, was an absolute steal. 
And while it is actually a little bit snug and they were saying from a sizing perspective, this vest was a little bit snugger than the rest of their prototype items. It doesn't have sleeves and so normally where I get hung up is if I'm moving my shoulder blades forward, I don't have that problem. So I can move pretty freely in this. Overall, really nice find, really happy with this. But I've got these staged in kind of the order of my favorite from least to best. So let's keep moving on up the chain. The next item is a really lightweight ripstop fabric coat. And it's kind of like a light olive, almost looks like it has shades of gray. This is definitely a prototype that was not finished. If we look at the details up close, we have a Rogue Jacket prototype, 60% off, normally $170 down to $68. This one, you can see it's got some chalk marks. They said the chalk marks come off easy. I honestly don't care. I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, I don't ever really wash my jackets unless I really get them dirty. I don't like them shrinking on me. So, I don't really care, the chalk doesn't bother me. The really nice thing about this piece is it's got black zips, and I think that really accentuates it nicely. If we look at the attention to detail, one of my favorite things, and this kind of gets into movement, but also I think it just looks nice, is on the back shoulder blade, we have kind of a cuff here, and I think it just kind of makes this jacket look a little bit more formal. You know, overall, this style really reminds me of some of my favorite jackets, one of my favorite brands. If you've seen this channel, you know I love G-Star, and their kind of military surplus phase was one of my favorites. I have got so many jackets from that era, and this has a real kind of throwback feel for me to that. Some of my favorite pieces, but you know, in a modern contemporary jacket available from Triple Ott right now. If we look at the bottom, this was the most unfinished piece of this prototype. We've got a flap at the bottom of the zipper, and there's no button or anything to kind of secure this. So you know, now that I'm in Karyology, I joked, I just bought some Cobra Clips for the Unicorn 2.0. I could outfit this thing with a Cobra Clip, but uh, I wouldn't actually do that. Part of the fun of this coat at 68 bucks being unfinished is I can finish it myself and not actually feel bad about whatever it is that I do. Other bits of attention to detail right here, love this. Oversized kind of zipper guard. So when the zip is up, you can hide it, tucks away nicely. This coat did not have a hood. I tend to prefer a hood, but at the price point, Feels pretty formal, actually. You know, it's got kind of a stiff stand-up collar. Overall, I think this coat just weared really, really nice. So let's check it out. Oh, and let's look at the label. So this is cool too. All of the labels are prototype labels. So you can see there, it's got a style number and a date 525 size m pretty neat man i mean to be able to get prototype stuff that no one else is gonna have the exact same coat i just love that i love unique things especially when when you put them on they just fit like a glove like they were made for you and this fits like it was made for me so Again, this one I gotta kinda finish off myself. This is super weird just flapping around down there. Up top, we're also missing a button to secure the collar. A little bit awkward too if I were to zip it all the way. But overall, I mean, have a look at this. Oh, another really nice touch. Extra fabric on the elbows. In this case, it's the exact same material. 
You'll see in one of the other pieces that they actually use a different fabric, and I really like that. I really like the contrast between different fabrics and different materials for different areas of the jacket. But overall, that's a really nice touch as well. Let's keep it moving on to the next one. This was the first jacket I tried on when I got there. And when I tried this on, I knew I was gonna have a really fun day because it fit perfect. It looked absolutely incredible. It's blacked out and it has a really nice liner inside. This is a Ranger Hoodie Battlemore prototype, 60% off, normally 265 down to 106. And a beautiful ripstop material contrasted against shoulder pads, that go down into pockets and then also cover the elbow and quite a bit going up towards the hand with a really nice even kind of angled area to it to kind of match the bend in your arm. I love that. I love kind of 3D fitting clothes. The hood is really nice, not just kind of a standard. It's got this bill on the front, which is really sweet. No pull cord, which actually doesn't bother me because I don't ever really use them, but it does look a little bit unfinished without that there. And then we've got a crazy pocket that goes through the back, almost like a hand warmer, but it's around the back, so not quite sure what I would use that for. Cool that it's there. Little hook and loop for a triple lot design patch probably. And then man, I didn't even notice this at the store. We've got armpit zips to kind of air this jacket out if it gets too warm. And I actually swapped this out in San Francisco today from the jacket I was wearing right after I bought it because it started raining, it was a little bit chilly, and the jacket I was wearing was a jean jacket. It did not have a liner. This has a really nice kind of soft felt feeling liner. And again, we got the prototype label tag. Looks like it's about to fall off. I don't know if it was like that or from my wear. I'll probably just pull this one right off the next time I use this. But let's try this guy on. Fits again like a glove. That was my favorite thing about all of the prototypes is they just, they fit so amazingly well. And of all of the jackets that I've got that have kind of a bomber style pocket on the arm, this one was my favorite to use. The zip is just super smooth, easy to engage, Really nice flap covering it. The material is fantastic. It feels durable, but also soft to the touch. I cannot say enough good things about this coat. Very, very impressed. Even the internal pockets I'm feeling have kind of like pen holders. Just really, really well executed. Great design. And I can't quite see. So the bottom actually does have the cinches and it feels like it's curved with a little bit of a tail out the rear. One thing about jackets for me, I have a long torso and I like jackets that have a little bit extra length to them. I don't like my jacket kind of riding up my stomach. The one exception where I'll allow it is jean jackets, but even then, I'm just not a fan of when it starts to come up to here. So that extra length, I am a huge fan of overall an amazing piece and 
for this coat and the next one that you're going to see, they were so gracious. I kind of ran up a bill because when it comes to these events, it's, you know, penny wise, pound foolish, or maybe it's pound foolish, penny wise. I just, I just open up the checkbook because to me, the deals are so worth it that you take the hit, you buy once, you cry once, and you get absolute great steals. I feel like I could use this jacket forever going forward, but at checkout, for this jacket and the next one, they actually increased the discount for me on the spot to 75%. It was so nice. It really took the edge off the final bill. I am so appreciative to you guys for doing that. Thank you very much. Let's get into the final coat. This one, amazing. I cannot believe it. If there were only one I could have, this next one would be it. And I'm gonna show you all the reasons why. So here we go. This is the coat. Let's find the label. This is a Ranger hoodie battle mode prototype. Normally 265 down to 106. And I think identical color and material to the previous jacket to the black one. It is, you can see, looks the same. But you can see how design language and finishing touches make a really big difference on a coat. This one has a hood. The hood has kind of not the same bill as the black one, but an angle to it that comes off, which is nice. You can see it's got the finishing pull. On the inside, right at the cheek area, you have some really nice felt liner, which is nice because if you've ever zipped a coat up right up in front of your mouth, this area could potentially be really abrasive. So that's just a really nice touch that they added there. My favorite thing about this coat is the black accents. Different colorway, it's actually the same material in this case, that comes off the shoulder blade into the elbow. It's actually kind of one piece. This is really clever actually, because it's not a patch or an overlay. It's different pieces of material that they've sewn together to make the sleeve. That's really, really clever. We have some Velcro cinches for the hands. That's actually one thing that was different I wanna show you that I didn't touch on from the hoodless coat is it actually had a zip here, which is kind of interesting. Like, this is nice if it actually fits perfect when it's fully zipped, but there's kind of only two settings really. It's open or closed. Going back to this jacket, you've got the Velcro, so you've got full adjustability there. Although the nice thing about the zip is there's not all of this extra material hanging off, so it's kind of dependent on how well the zip version fits. In the back of the hood, we've got another pull, which is just a really nice finishing touch. And overall, for California weather, no inside liner, and the color contrast of the black against the olive green and gray, just makes this jacket a complete banger when you're actually wearing it. I mean, just so good. So freaking good. And there you have it. So, amazing day. I wanna say shout out to Scott 
Scott is actually a person that I met from the Karyology group. I was working with him to source some Dan Masuda pieces that he had. He was in Florida yesterday. He said, we'll work things out on Sunday. And then I come to see that he posts in the group that he's at the Triple Ott Design warehouse sale while I'm literally at the sale. And I message him directly and the person in front of me looks at their phone and I go, Scott? And it was him. And sure enough, amazing dude. Great to meet you, great to hang out for a bit. Great to kind of go over the fun, cool things that we found at Triple Ott Design. And then after I got lunch, I actually ran into Mark, who sold me a Cerberus backpack just earlier in the week. So super small community, even though the reach is global, very like-minded people. Everyone is incredible. Absolutely amazing time. And I think that's all I've got. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you at the next one soon.